Welcome everybody to Funeral Nation episode 128. I'm Ryan Thogmartin. That is Jeff, the Funeral Commander Harbison. And uh, Jeff, we pulled off our very first Facebook Live destination episode last week at the amazing NFDA International Expo and Convention. Yeah, it was, uh, it was pretty awesome. Um, I enjoyed it because it gave us an opportunity not only to just be live, but to, to when we opened up, we had people walking by and they're yeah. jumping on the show. You know, we had Tim Bridgers. We, we had a, a number of folks come by. Monica yep. uh, Torres, uh, I think Katie Houston, she's a big fan. She came on. She's on there. And, uh, of course, Rolf and some others. So it was uh, – I think that's a great idea that we should do maybe, you know, a couple times when we're at these events. We'll, we'll just it. open it up live and let's just see what happens. You know, that was really a crapshoot. It could have went sideways in a hurry, but it did not. Yeah, when you're live, you you know, cut this. We just – no, it's not yeah. good. In fact, uh, it's funny you say that. Just before we went live, we uh, – from one of our shows, we had a little bit of controversy and consternation from uh, one of the state organizations that we were not in favor of uh, adding too much education. So as we were setting up, we were there, but um, they didn't want to show up on live TV and talk That's about right. it. So I mean, it was so bad. <laughs> we, got a, we have a knack for uh, just kind of twisting the fork a little deeper. Well, um, that's what it's about. I mean, unfortunately, we don't have those conversations that's as right. much as um, you know. What I take that back. We're starting to see more of those conversations uh, in our in our business. And anyway, before we get too much further, let's uh, run our sponsor. I saw Jamie there. Saw Jackie, Rob, the whole crew. Jackie's always a star. She hates it when I turn on the uh, live shot. But uh, you know. Funny with C and J yesterday, I was working with a client here at Foresight and trying to help them with those accounts receivables. And folks, uh, I, I'm in this business helping people keep and make their money and be more profitable. If you're not using C and J for your life insurance assignments, you're wrong. So anyway, let's roll that, Ryan. What payment method do you prefer families use for your goods and services? Most funeral homes and cemeteries prefer cash check or credit card over life insurance as the preferred method of payment. However, families who use life insurance are able to purchase the funeral service of their choice and spend 31% more on your goods and services. By encouraging more families to pay with insurance, you can create a better experience for the family and become more profitable without increasing your call volume. The reason most firms prefer cash check or credit card over life insurance is that insurance companies are a hassle to deal with and payment can often take weeks or months to receive. With C&J Financial, you can receive funding within 24 hours of verification of benefit, thereby eliminating the hassle, headache, and cash flow delay in processing insurance death claims. Let us show you why hundreds of funeral homes all across America choose C&J for their assignment funding needs and why many associations, accounting firms, and industry leaders recommend C and J to their clients and members. Good stuff, man. So, uh, let's chat a little bit about NFDA. Uh, you know, it's, you are a recognizable company and a recognizable brand as the funeral commander and Jeff Harbison. So, um, as you peruse the floor, you're having a lot of conversations and, you know, it's hard to make it from one end to the next in one day. So, you know, as you got out and about and had conversations, what would you see and what were your thoughts on the expo? Well, I'm going to reiterate what we were talking about earlier, that uh, the show was unusual because we didn't have a lot of drive-ins. The attendance wasn't the same, but the quality of contact and the quality of conversations um, and the quality work was the best I've seen since I've been in this business. So yeah. kudos and FDA uh, and staff. Uh, it started out that we didn't think it was going to be one way and ended up another. Um, our booth at uh, the Foresight Companies was packed. Of course, you know, we had Doug Gober that's uh, come alongside of us. You're talking about a recognizable brand between he, Dan, Assard, myself. Yeah. I mean, it was like, uh, you know, having paparazzi come up and pictures and all. 
But as I peruse the floor, you know, there's lots of interesting things that I saw out there. I'm, I'm going to say this uh, because I'm going to have to backtrack a little bit. Um, there was an interesting new urn there. <coughs> Modern, you know, with yes. Sonia and her crew. Uh, I think you've seen there a little bit. That's that, uh, one, that one right there. Yeah. Yeah. So mixing some technology with, uh, with the urn. So I, I was pretty happy to see something like that. Um, another thing that, that really was interesting to me was coming in. I think LA ads, Rolf and Dan, uh, pulled off something interesting for funerosity as you came through the doors. Um, there was a go traditional route door or go to progressive, you know, right. future route. <clears throat> and they interviewed people who made a conscious decision to go one through the other. And I thought that was pretty brilliant. And there's still people in tradition, and I think we'll see more of that come out. Yeah. But uh, speaking of observations, one that I had, <laughs> uh, Laura Bush spoke. And if you can imagine, three big doors to an auditorium open. I mean, literally standing wide open. And two doors, the middle door and the right door, were completely no one in line. The door to the left, there were people lined up almost all the way out the door. And so... <laughs> What I mean by that is there was nobody broke line to go over and say, hey, I can go through these new doors over here. But they chose to stand in line one behind the other like sheep and lemmings all the way through. If you're in that line, you're probably upset with me. But bottom line is there were two doors open. Maybe if you stepped out of line a little bit, did something different, you get there faster and a better seat. But that's just me. It's a pretty good observation. Yeah, thank you. So you had a lot. What did you see, bud? Yeah, it was yeah probably the most interesting thing I got to see. I only really got to travel about three rows away from where our booth was at. It was it was packed the whole time, which is great. Um, it was definitely like you said a, a quality over quantity convention, which I was super happy with. You know, I think I talked with you and uh, prior to the convention, and I really chalked this up as it was going to be a colossal fail simply because I didn't think anybody was going to come to Salt Lake that, you know, it wasn't really going to matter. We were going to be busy one day and the other two days you'd shoot a cannon and not hit anybody. But uh, I was absolutely floored at the response, um, the conversations that we had. You know, to date, this will be the most successful conference that we've had. So um, I was happy with that. But, you know, I think the 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 one product that I did get to see that I thought was interesting was the hearse with a trailer hitch. Um, that I, I think is is interesting. And I had a couple conversations with a few funeral directors. They're like, "Hey, have you seen this Escalade lead car that has a trailer hitch, and the trailer is a hearse where you can put a casket and you know take it to the graveside?" And I said, "Yeah, I, I walked by it. What are your thoughts?" <clears throat> They said for what you could buy a hearse for, you could get into that setup for about 20000 more. But the one guy I talked to said, you know, I only have two or three cemeteries I could actually get that into and be able to navigate it around. He said, you know, we're in backwoods country. So I don't think it was for everybody, but I think it was interesting. You know, they heard the cliche, never seen a hearse with a trailer hitch set all week and now you have. Uh, there's one now. Now there's ones. But, you know, um, <clears throat> from your what you mentioned about technology, a lot of the conversations I had, <clears throat> excuse me, with other vendors, um, with funeral directors, there was a lot of technology infused in this convention um, from companies that have been traditional in nature that are starting to embrace different technology. Um, you know, you mentioned Modern. Um, at the end of the day, Modern is, is not an urn company. They're a technology company, which is really fascinating, cool. Um, and from a technology perspective, <clears throat> for about the last four or five months, there's been some ramblings and rumors and uh, talks of some acquisitions. And, and we've found out there have been three companies that have been acquired that are big recognizable companies by uh, some outside equity money. Um, interesting uh, that, that, that there is so much money floating around that it's like the funeral profession has kind of been the untapped 
outside of acquisitions of funeral homes, cemeteries, crematories from investment money. Now sure. companies injecting cash into technology driven bit brands in the funeral space to create, right. I don't know. I, I don't know. Is it a, you know, it's, what are, what are your thoughts? We, we've had some off the record conversations and things that we, we well, can't have a discussion here. Is, it's, it's still off the record. <clears throat> That's right. Everybody on the floor gave the names of the three companies. Yeah. Yeah. Um, the three companies have been reached out to and they have no comment. That's right. I see it as a, uh, a PR nightmare in some respects that if you are going to do this, do it before NFDA. Okay. So that you can announce it and this is what we're doing. If it was not true, then you need to squash the rumors. That's because right. Folks, if you're watching from your companies, they're all talking about you. And as soon as this flips up and it will one way or the other, then uh, that cat will be out of the bag and there'll be a lot more, a lot more talk. I would but, definitely say from the supplier side, that was the conversation of the convention. Right, right. And so uh, it'll be interesting. We're, we're not, we're only, we're only talking about the rumor. We're not going to pe- perpetuate exactly who it is, but. Y'all know who you are and the rest of us do. So maybe it's time to let folks know what happened there. That's right. Um, speaking of technology, uh, we use fireside chats and, and stuff. You did something with Dean Lambert at Homesteaders on social media. How'd that yep. go? Yeah. Dean and I did a, a campfire chat, which is a cool thing that NFDA started last year in Boston and they continued on with it. Um, I really like it. It's a quick 20 minute presentation and Dean and I tag teamed how to make social media the focal point of a pre-need lead strategy. So um, it was really fun to, to banter back and forth with Dean and you know, it was really cool because neither one of us had had any conversations about this joint presentation until we both show up at the campfire. So it was 100% off the cuff. And uh, went fabulous. Uh, I really like what NFDA is doing there with with the campfire chats. It does draw. I think we had about seventy people um, that attended, which was which was great. Quick twenty minutes, and they did those every hour, I believe, all three days. So um, pretty cool. We also were part of the social media lounge again. Disrupt and, and Homesteader sponsored that, and we did three panel discussions. Um, and we'll be putting out that content over the next week or two. Uh, But, you know, what the social media lounge provided, what you and I were able to provide by doing a a Funeral Nation episode live at the convention is just putting conversation that is on the, the, we're not even in the, I would say that that we're having conversations that aren't even trending because they're further ahead of what the trending conversations are. I think I that you know you and I have been drivers through this show of really the rhetoric over the last year and a half of what people are talking about and being able to continue that in a live setting, being able to to partner with a company like Homesteaders where we had you know three deep high level panel discussions with experts in their niche about conversations that nobody else is having that are leading funeral directors in the direction that they should be going and embracing change, which has been the motto that you and I have lived by through Funeral Nation. And, you know, I look at that poster over your left shoulder every week that I'm not going to tell you to go to hell, but I'm going to tell you the truth. It just feels like hell. And that's really kind of been the backbone of what we're trying to do with Funeral Nation. And, um, you know, to, to each time we get together and we get to have those conversations with people in the profession, it's really cool to see just how much impact the show has and the audience that we drew by not announcing when we were going to do a live video, not really planning anything to do a live episode. We just threw up a background and we started live streaming and people showed up. So it was cool. It was awesome. Um, you know, and, uh, by the way, uh, the casket company's out. You saw, uh, Sitch, he had a big wine party. Yeah. Seems like he's continually to uh, to grow his se- segment of the business. In fact, let's go ahead and run his promotion.
All right. So um, I guess we need to close out this show by saying that that show in Salt Lake City was a unmitigated success. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, Cheers and hats off. My salute to the uh, staff and the team, all the participants, people who came. Um, It was well done. I'm actually really excited. Uh, My desk is full of stuff that we have to do uh, to get back, uh, coming back home. And uh, it's going to be a lot going on, I think, in the next six months prior to now going to ICCFA. That's the next biggie. That's right. And, you know, hats off to NFTA. Uh, I think they really took a chance having the convention in Salt Lake. They took a big chance with the keynote speakers. Um, so it's cool to see them take some risks. And from the perspective of a vendor who's paying to, you know, NFDA is our single largest investment of the year, and I would imagine that most of the exhibitors there, it's the same for them as well. Uh, So to see NFDA take a risk that could have gone colossal fail but ends up being a brilliant move, I like that. Um, I like supporting an association that's willing to shake things up and get people's attention and yes, numbers were down, but the funeral directors that they got there were the funeral directors that everybody needed and wanted to talk to. Agreed. Agreed. Well, we, uh, we'll start back into another exciting week next week. I'm traveling to Atlanta. I'm at bat with Dean and Homesteaders. Nice. And Wilson, we're doing a pre-need conference down there. So might Very bring cool. out a little live stuff, but I'm sure we'll talk. Are you out of town next week? I am traveling the great state of Kentucky with the Funeral Directors of Kentucky Association doing four different presentations across the state with uh, good buddy Wally Hooker. So, uh, Oh, boy. Yeah, we're tag teaming a six-hour CEU uh, through from western Kentucky all the way to the east side back to Louisville. So should be uh, interesting. If you're going to be in the car with him, just go ahead and record will, live. Sign I will not be, but we, we'll, I'll make sure that we get some, some content. Beautiful. All right. Well, Funeral Nation, thank you. Um, I just want to reiterate that what we do here, um, if you can't attend the NFDAs, et cetera, we want to bring it to you. Uh, we had several live segments that were going on just impromptu. Got some great uh, feedback. Um, ideas, things that you'd like to see in the coming year. We've got a few surprises uh, in the next six weeks or so, yep, what yep. we're going to be doing a little bit different. Um, thank you guys for being effing fans. And it's a lot of fun when we're out there that uh, we'll hear, it. hey, I'm an effing fan. That's right. Of course, everybody turns around. But, hey, thank you all for being big followers. That's it. All right, Mr. Harbison, the commander. Until next time, have a great effing week. Out of here.